Hello my dear, welcome to the IMS Get Academy. I hope you are all good and your preparation going in a right direction. Myself, Pragyabrat Tripathi and I am a permanent faculty of IMS Get Academy. Okay, beta. so today uh, the, uh, the, the continuity of a thermodynamics, uh, today in, uh, I am in front of you to take the class, uh, to take the session of a gate booster of a of application part, thermal application. What is that, beta? Thermal application, thermodynamics application, thermodynamic application part, thermodynamics application. So, beta, what is why it is important for the gate? Why? Because beta, number first, it is a application part of the basic thermodynamics. See, if you study throughout the basic thermodynamics, now that means a conservation of. Good evening, Atul. That means a con, there. If you if you study that. Energy equation, conservation of energy, and you study that the entropy balance. That means energy balance and entropy balance. From the energy balance and from the entropy balance, you can calculate every state of the system. That means from the energy balance, you can calculate everything like enthalpy. Why? Because when you are entering in the power plant, when you are entering into power plant, the enthalpy is play a very important role so that you can calculate all the relevant parameter related to the power plant design. So if you design the power plant, you have to know what is the different different component which is used in the power production or either power absorbing system, power absorbing cycle. So when you have to calculate the enthalpy, when you have to calculate the enthalpy, you must be apply the conservation of energy. That means energy equation and yeah, energy equation, yeah, energy transfer equation, yeah, energy balance. And if you up, if you want that the the system is the system, the pl plant is possible. That means it is possible to develop work that much amount or not. You can apply the second law. That means entropy balance. Okay. So uh, in the power plant engineering, in the, the in the syllabus of the power plant, <coughs> that means application part application part if you think that application part so there are three categories number first is power engineering <coughs> power engineering and in the power engineering we studies very important cycle that means power producing cycle there are two power producing cycle in the power engineering first is rankine cycle And third is Breton's uh, gas, yeah, Breton cycle, Rankine cycle or Breton cycle. See, these two are power producing cycle. These two are power producing cycle. The Rankine cycle, what is the difference between the Rankine cycle and Breton cycle? Beta? In the Rankine cycle, the fluid which is used throughout the cyclic process, the fluid have a changes its phase. That means the in this ch phase changing fluid, phase changing fluid we can use and in this there is a no phase change. That means this is your single phase fluid, single phase fluid use. Okay. Breton cycle, it is you, it is used in a gas turbine cycle. Turbine cycle and Rankine cycle, it is used in a steam turbine cycle. Steam. Right. See the Rankine cycle and Breton cycle. See beta, there is a NTPC National Thermal Power Corporation of India Limited, which is used the Rankine cycle and the gas turbines, gas gas turbine cycle both are installed in the same power plant to back up the Rankine cycle we are also install the Breton cycle but the Breton cycle the efficiency is very low as compared to the Rankine cycle that means work ratio is very high of the Rankine cycle as compared to Breton cycle okay so for power engineering we are studying two this two cycle now <coughs> other one is that IC engine is also a power producing cycle. IC 
in general see all the see if you i am talking about the power plant cycle yes cycle power plant cycle power plant cycle if you take cycle as a system so it is open system or closed system it is a closed system it is what beta closed system it is a closed system that means the fluid which is regularly circulating inside the loop that means inside the cycle no mass will transfer from the system to the surrounding only the energy interaction in the form of heat or work okay so ic engine the ic engine we studied the auto cycle diesel cycle and also ha huh, right there is two cycle mainly this auto cycle diesel cycle sometime you can study the dual cycle combined of both right so in the case of ic engine now the next is a refrigeration and air conditioning air conditioning no need at, uh, at that time it is not in the syllabus air conditioning only the refrigeration is that in the refrigeration cycle what is that mean vapor compression refrigeration cycle sometime vapor absorption refrigeration cycle vapor absorption refrigeration cycle is reverse breton cycle reverse vapor absorption uh, vapor absorption cycle that means vapor not a vapor absorption ga, uh, gas absor gas refrigeration cycle gas refrigeration cycle sometime also called reverse breton cycle why because in during that there is a same phase of the refrigerant will used in the gas refrigeration cycle gas refrigeration cycle gas refrigeration cycle is called balconman cycle okay so in this case we study the vapor compression refrigeration cycle for the refrigeration and also we study the condition of moist air we study the condition of moist air hello sasikant sir namaste pratik namaskar kalash kant namaskar jagdish namaskar beta good evening okay so we are study the different type of cycle now for that we have to select see to build this type of to build this this type of ultimate concept we have to know about the if we talking about the rankine cycle you must be think about that in the rankine cycle the fluid have its change its phase when the change is phase phase how to calculate different different stage property of the system so for that we have to add we have to little bit idea about what is the we have to idea about what is the condition what is the different different condition when the fluid have its change phase that means generally we we'll talk about the liquid to solid yeah solid liquid to vapor yeah vapor to liquid during that there must be a phase change right see beta one thing is that if i give you one observation firstly you think that see you have idea about this if this is your ts plane and this is your saturation saturation curve this is what beta saturation curve this is at a this curve that means this is saturated liquid curve and this is saturated vapor curve saturated liquid curve and saturated vapor curve meet at a critical point if this is a temperature and this this line is a constant pressure line and this is your constant temperature line this is a constant pressure line and this is a constant temperature line isothermal line if you think very carefully in the wet region in the wet region that means liquid plus vapor region the liquid uh, the constant temperature line and constant vapor line are coincide to each other that means in this condition these two property are not independent these are dependent to each other but if you talk about the such so, a liquid pure liquid ya yeah, superheated vapor the pressure and temperature both are independent properties so, 
and once we have to increase the pressure the latent heat which is used to transfer from the liquid saturated liquid to saturated vapor continuously reduce okay so for this motivation we have to calculate this is this line denoted by f this line denoted by g right this is generally called fluid and this is generally for called gas this fluid is saturated liquid saturated liquid and this is your saturated vapor saturated vapor so these property the saturation property you directly read on the steam table which is provided in the examination hall but what is the property at this point what is the property at this point what is the property at this point you have to calculate according to the standard formula so if you want this is called sometime is this sometime this is called compressed liquid sometime this is called compressed liquid or a liquid this is called this is called liquid plus vapor weight region this is called liquid plus vapor weight region and this is called superheated region this is called superheated region so all the this is called superheated region so all the cycle which is at there is no any phase change all the cycle will draw in the superheated if you compare the Rankine cycle over the Breton cycle a gas turbine cycle so all the gas turbine cycle drawn on the superheated region why because in this region there is only one phase so if you compare Rankine cycle to the gas turbine cycle gas turbine cycle always drawn in the superheated region so if there is any chance you compare it so first draw the uh, Rankine cycle then in the superheated region you draw the Breton cycle okay so each and every formula and this this in this in this point will identify according to the dryness fraction according to the dryness fraction okay beta so so this is your little bit all the dryness fraction x is the dryness fraction dryness fraction you have to calculate no problem and all the value that means h g h f s g s f v g and v f these things you have to know about the steam table from the steam table from the steam table steam table which is provided in the examination as in the table form so this property you have no and you find all other property that means in the superheated like that a point point a and in the compressed liquid point b so a and b point you have to a different different formula which is used in the this this first problem so beta let's start the first problem this is your first problem see this one this is your first problem what is that see steam expand isentropically what is mean by isentropic beta steam expand isentropically that means during the expansion during the expansion see beta expansion what is the expansion what is the expansion process see expansion that means reduction in pressure that means its pressure will reduce its pressure will reduce so the steam reduce pressure according to isentropically that means if the pressure at initially at state 1 is entropy s1 at stop point 2 as entropy 2 so during 1 to 2 its entropy same this is called isentropic during the process expansion you can and if there is a isentropic so it need not be reversible adiabatic but a reversible adiabatic process must be isentropic okay now <coughs> steam expand isentropic in the nozzle okay beta but isentropic is always adiabatic you know this thing adiabatic that means heat transfer is zero 
एंड दैट हिट ट्रांसफर इज जीरो आइदर रिवर्सेबल और आइदर इ रिवर्सेबल इफ द प्रोसेस इज रिवर्सेबल एंड आइडियाबेटिक दैट इज कॉल्ड आइसेंट्रोपिक बट आइसेंट्रोपिज पिक it is not that there must be there may be heat transfer there may be heat transfer why because beta delta s is equal to dq by t plus s generation delta s is equal to dq by t plus s generation see if there is dq dq by t that means dq quantity is out from the system so it may be it may be what beta out from the system that means it is negative and s generation is always increase s generation is always increase so let's suppose minus 10 come out from the system to the surrounding in the form of heat and plus 10 will generate it so ultimately that if you add this one so delta s zero so though there is a process is a re, uh, isentropic but there must be generation so it is not reversible so it is not necessary that isentropic that means it is reversible adiabatic it may not but reversible adiabatic process must be isentropic process okay must be isentropic process this is to be clear okay in the nozzle the control volume system is nozzle what is the control volume nozzle and what is the function of nozzle beta for the main function the prime function of the nozzle to increase the exit velocity to increase the exit velocity right and the, in this nozzle steam is flowing so if the velocity will increase there must be reduction in pressure that means the kinetic increment of a kinetic energy will reduce the pressure so that its pressure will reduce so from how much that means at 1 mega pascal and 250 degree centigrade to 10 kilo pascal see the beauty that means its pressure initial pressure is 1 mega pascal and its pressure will reduce 10 kilo pascal this mind is to this has to be clear this is kilo pascal and this is mega pascal so the pressure will reduce now mass flow rate of the steam that means how much the mass flow rate that means this is m dot mass flow rate m dot kg per second assuming the velocity of the nozzle at inlet is zero obvious obvious beta the velocity it may be, it 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 is not necessary that beta velocity at the inlet nozzle is zero but why it is zero what is the motive this is not a this is not a like a beautification of the question no it is a concept what why it is it is given that see it may be zero that means that means beta exit kinetic energy exit kinetic energy is much much more as compared to the inlet kinetic energy so the at inlet condition the velocity is zero that means inlet velocity is zero that means the exit velocity is maximum inlet velocity is zero that means inlet pressure is maximum exit velocity is maximum that means pressure is minimum so if we reduce the pressure highly you can design a nozzle in a such a way that can use that yes to increase the exit velocity with the expense of the pressure drop yes 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 so what is the motivation of inlet velocity zero inlet velocity is zero that means to in to to decrease more and more pressure you are right prasad theek hai which is the following statement is correct which of the following statement is correct see the data is given what is the following data pressure it is given 1000 kilo pascal and 10 kilo pascal why we got this is beta okay no problem it is given i left ha 10 kilo pascal ha ye mega pascal na this is mega pascal so this is also in kilo pascal so if you write in kilo pascal this is 1000 kilo pascal so 1000 kilo pascal and 100 kilo pascal saturated temperature it is given t set it is given specific volume it is given specific volume of the fluid it is given specific matlab specific volume of the saturated liquid it is given specific volume of the saturated gas it is given enthalpy 
and entropy it is given and also the superheated condition is given at the pressure 1 mega pascal see beta at the pressure 1 mega pascal 250 what why 250 is the superheated why because see at 1 mega pascal at 1 mega pascal that means 1000 that means that means this 1000 kilo pascal this 1000 kilo pascal what is the saturation temperature approximately 180 what is the saturation temperature beta approximately 180 and this saturation temperature this saturation temperature very important this saturation temperature is less than the this temperature 250 so that this temperature lie in the superheated range so this this given uh, data is superheated data right okay no problem at all so they are asking that dryness fraction of the exit nozzle what if the nozzle will exit so what is the dryness fraction it is the dryness fraction it is correct or not exit area of the nozzle cross section area of the nozzle steam at the nozzle exit is dry saturated it is asking steam at the nozzle exit is dry saturated that means whether the dryness fraction is one or not nozzle exit velocity is 1124 it is asking so my dear i give you only two minutes not more than two minutes just design the problem just design the problem at all okay this is your question start with that start with that okay shall we start yes sir start yes now see this is our nozzle this is our nozzle beta and this is our control volume of the nozzle this is our control volume of the nozzle this is our control volume of the nozzle we think all the aspects right this is your inlet section i and this is your exit section e see it is not we uh, 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 many people's notation here one and two one and two no beta it is bad habit it is not wrong but it is a bad habit why because beta see in all thermodynamics fluid mechanics and heat transfer where it is if there is a control volume and in the control volume the property will change if the property will change that means unsteady control volume so we do not for notation one is i e one and two these two are in these two are notation of the cross section that means inlet and exit and these two are within the system within the system that means this this notation one to two is within the system if there is any property will change or not that property will denote by one and two but i and e will denote the inlet and exit so i and e are particle for what is in and what is out one and two particle will design what is the change inside the property so better in the better understanding you can write inlet section and exit section this is the section not a point 
this is the section not a point that means one and two denotes the point and i and e denote the section so if you design a control volume you cut the section so the section will design i and e not one and two keep in mind okay now <coughs> what is given something is given yes so the fluid is in here and fluid is exit here what is the inlet pressure p1 it is equal to 1 mega pascal yes or not yes sir no problem at all what is the temperature t1 it is sir 250 degree centigrade no problem at all what is the pressure at 2 p2 it is your 10 kilo pascal no problem at all okay we have to find velocity at the exit and also area at the exit we have to find it normal thing so beta how to find now according to the given condition according to the given condition see beta if i show the table if i saw the table beta this is very important if i saw the table see see at 10 kilo pascal at 10 kilo pascal at 10 kilo pascal what is the sg sg this is our sg yes or not this is our sg okay if you draw this on a ts plot temperature versus entropy plot ts plot so this is our saturation curve yes or not this is our saturation curve right no problem at all now inlet pressure is high exit pressure is low so this is your inlet pressure high pressure this is your exit pressure low pressure yes or not right it is given that at inlet 250 degree centigrade that means at this point at this point what is the saturation temperature t offset the saturation temperature is what beta at pressure 1000 mega pascal and at pressure sorry 1000 kilo pascal na? 1000 this is 1000 kilo pascal this is your this is your 1000 kilo pascal and this is your 10 kilo pascal such a reduction of pressure okay now right see t saturation is what t saturation at 1000 how much 179.88 179.88 degree centigrade right and at this pressure what is the inlet temperature 250 degree centigrade so this up to this there is temperature 179 so the inlet temperature is at here so this is your superheated this is your superheated point so this is your t of soup superheated point so this is at point one that means entry to the nozzle now it expand isotropically so it is your vertical direction let's suppose this is our vertical direction expansion isotropically now if this is your two and this is your isentropic expansion so how can you say that two it is in weight region it may be at saturated point saturated vapor or it may be at superheated why because if one point is there so it may be this one so how can you decide the two point inside the dome 
दैट मीन्स वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एस दिस इज योर वट बेटा एस ऑफ जी एट ए प्रेशर टेन किलो पासकल सी द ब्यूटी एस जी एट पॉइंट एस जी एट प्रेशर ऑफ टेन किलो पासकल हाउ मच इट इज गिवेन इट इज गिवेन बेटा इट इज गिवेन एस जी एट टेन मेगा पासकल किलो पासकल इट इज गिवेन एस जी एस जी एट पॉइंट वन फोर एट 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 पॉइंट वन फोर एट 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 पॉइंट वन फोर एट एट राइट दिस इज एस जी दैट मीन दिस पॉइंट राइट एंड दिस पॉइंट एस वन इज इक्वल टू एस टू एस वन इज इक्वल टू एस टू सो वट इज द एस टू इन डायरेक्टली एस वन सो एस टू इज इक्वल टू एस वन and one point is it in superheated so at 1000 kilo pascal what is the superheated entropy this is 6.9265 6.92 6.9265 i think 6.9265 6. sorry 6 6.9265. Okay, no problem at all. So see, beta, this entropy is less than this entropy. That means two point will less than S G point. So it must be at this. That means S G two two at pressure. P two is greater than S one is equal to S two. That means so point two lies in weight region. So if it is in weight region, so what is the dryness fraction? first we think what is the dryness fraction so the dryness fraction at this point how to calculate this is your isentropic process s1 is equal to s2 so s1 this is very simple i am telling you from the btech from the btech level you you don't know anything but you know this thing i know this is very basic this calculation is very basic every time every btech student this is done i know This is very simple. S one is equal to S two and find dryness fraction. This is the like a Hanuman Chalisa. If you find the dryness fraction in the wet region, apply S one over S two. This is very simple. I know, okay. But this is the uh, method to calculate. Oh no problem. What what is the S one you have, and what is the S two? And S two is S F plus X two S G minus S F. This is very simple. at which pressure at pressure 10 kilo pascal you have all the thing s1 is equal to s2 this one 6.9265 and at 10 kilo pascal all the data is given no problem at 10 kilo pascal at 10 kilo pascal all the data is given sg is given sf is given put all this value find x no problem find x so we have a data so this is your point 6492 plus x2 what is sg 8 point this is one 1488 minus sf point 6492 so from here we can easily calculate x2 value so if you calculate what is x value 0.83701 this is your dryness fraction after the expansion that means if it will expand if we if it will expand it will decrease see in the throttling and in the nozzle you know what is the difference between throttling and nozzle See 
one thing is very clear throttling is also expansion device that means the pressure will reduce yes or not Let's think very carefully in the throttling process beta also pressure will reduce in the throttling also the pressure will reduce number first so there is one observation is that beta if you write what is the difference between throttling and nozzle throttle and nozzle so both in both cases expansion done this is also expansion and in this there is also expansion so whether we can use this fluid to install this device to expansion no why because throttling in at the throttling condition this is generally liquid and in also the nozzle it is a liquid so it is not necessary that but this is your expansion okay one thing is very important differentiation in the throttling the enthalpy at the inlet that means h i is the same enthalpy at exit that means there is no energy changes what is the enthalpy u plus p v yes internal energy will convert into p into v flow energy or flow energy will convert into internal energy but addition of these two always constant in the throttling process but in the nozzle beta it is not constant it will there that means this hi have a different value or he have a different value and in the case of nozzle hi is very higher than the he that means in the expansion in this nozzle h i is very higher than h e this is very important i'm telling you why because in this at h d h e side that means right side we add the velocity component so the main difference in the throttling and nozzle is that sir throttling at the inlet enthalpy is the same at the exit enthalpy but in the case of nozzle the inlet enthalpy much more more than the exit enthalpy but throttling we will done the expansion also nozzle we will done all the expansion these are the little little bit concept okay so this is your dryness fraction so this is your throttling and also beta it is very necessary that it is necessary that to expand more and more process uh, pressure to expand more and more pressure the nozzle is designed as to be isentropic that means in this case in this case i the process is we take the process reversible and adiabatic that means this is isentropic but the throttling it is not necessary that isentropic throttling is the irreversible process nozzle may be taken as a reversible process but throttling is a highly irreversible process so in the case of throttling highly irreversible process so we cannot draw the solid line we can draw the dotted line from point i say from point e so throttling is a reversible uh, irreversible and nozzle may be a reversible generally it is a reversible that means beta see nozzle nozzle you have to design reversible and adiabatic reversible and adiabatic but throttle we will design irreversible and adiabatic irreversible and adiabatic so irreversible and adiabatic and irreversibility due to internal irreversibility irreversibility due to internal irreversibility and irreversibility irreversible and adiabatic so in the case of throttling generation is there so due to the generation its entropy will increase why because we know that delta s of the system is equal to delta s of the system is equal to what is the entropy transfer plus generation and entropy transfer due to two mechanism one is the due to heat and other is due to the mass yeah combined of both plus heat a plus entropy generation 
सो द टोटल एंट्रोपी चेंज इज ड्यू टू द हीट ट्रांसफर बट देर इज ए नो हिनी हीट ट्रांसफर एडियाबेटिक बट ड्यू टू इिटी देर मस्ट बी ए जनरेशन एंड जनरेशन इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो जनरेशन इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो सो थ्रोटलिंग इज ए इिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस थ्रोटलिंग इज ए हाईली इिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस बट इन द केस ऑफ नोजल इट 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 मे बी डिजाइंड ऑन द इट मे बी डिजाइंड ऑन द रिवर्सिबल एंड एडियाबेटिक प्रतीक थैंक यू यार रिवर्सिबल एंड एडियाबेटिक ओके सो दिस गिव्स यू लिटिल बिट बूस्ट यू व्हाई बिकॉज़ दिस इज ए स्कोर बूस्टर सो ऑलवेज बूस्ट योरसेल्फ due to this little bit concept see in the examination hall say in the interview anyone ask you what is the basic difference between throttling and nozzle explain up to, we explain within 5 minute yeah if i give you 5 minute explain it yeah tell about tell, tell something about the nozzle and throttling so this may be have to clear okay <coughs> now beta now so this is a dryness fraction at the exit now once you have once you have a point see this is your pressure this is your pressure line and there is a dryness fraction so cut this one dryness fraction line and pressure line you find the two point so once you get a two point all the value you can calculate all the value you can calculate what is that see see <coughs> now what what are the next target see dryness fraction at the exit of the nozzle it is correct 100% correct so a option is correct now option b exit area of the nozzle so we have to find exit area of the nozzle that means this area and this area is circular nozzle in general it is a circular so this area is what beta pi by 4 of d square Yes or not? This area you have to find it, or also how to find? Why? Because there is no any diameter at the exit. How to find? Please comment anyone, either faculty, either student, either anyone. You know engineering, you know thermodynamics, or you don't know? Please comment. Anyone you want to comment, then comment. If there is a no any area this diameter. how to find the area anyone please how to find the area exit area how to find the exit area how to find the exit area how to find the exit area so exit area now beta see one thing if this is your nozzle and you have to find this exit area a2 and this is your inlet area a1 but there is no any length dimension it is given so first apply the first law of thermodynamics first law of td for which system for which system control volume system and we assume that this control volume system is steady system steady system that means the property change the proper change in property within the system is with respect to time is zero with respect to time is zero now apply the energy first equation that means this is called then that is called steady flow steady flow energy equation that is called steady flow energy equation apply steady flow energy equation q plus for unit mass basis beta to write for unit mass versus why because there is no any mass is given na uh, in the question there is no any ha huh, yes mass flow rate is given no problem so 
क्यू प्लस इंथालपी एच वन एच आई प्लस वी आई स्क्वायर बाई टू प्लस जी जेड आई कंट्रो चेंज इन प्रॉपर्टी विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू सिस्टम इज जीरो प्लस डब्ल्यू प्लस एच ई प्लस वी ई स्क्वायर बाई टू प्लस जी जेड ई नाउ बेटा दिस इज देर इज ए नो हिट ट्रांसफर देर इज नो एनी इंफॉर्मेशन ओके एडियाबेटिक नो वर्क ट्रांसफर दैट मीन्स जीरो नो वर्क डिवाइस नो वर्किंग डिवाइस वर्किंग डिवाइस ओके एंड चेंज इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी एट द इनलेट इज जीरो देर इज नो एनी चेंज इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी वाई बिकॉज दिस इज इन हॉरिजेंटल मैनर सो द चेंज इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज जीरो सो वॉट इज द इक्वेशन बेटा सी द ब्यूटी एच आई इज इक्वल टू एच ई प्लस वी ई स्क्वायर बाई टू नाउ देर इज ए इन जेनरल मिस्टेक ऑफ द स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट कॉम्युनिटी देर इज ए वन मिस्टेक हेयर प्लीज माइंड इट वट इज द मिस्टेक हेयर वट इज द मिस्टेक वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग दिस फॉर्मूला सी बेटा दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एच इज इन विच यूनिट एच इज इन यू विच यूनिट बेटा किलो जूल पर के जी इट इज गिवेन सी किलो जूल पर के जी एच इज इन किलो जूल पर के जी इट इज गिवेन सो एच इज इन किलो जूल पर के जी नाउ दिस यूनिट वॉट इज दिस यूनिट मीटर पर सेकेंड का होल स्क्वायर राइट एंड सी द ब्यूटी एंड मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर इज वॉट बेटा मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर हाउ कैन वी राइट मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर दिस इज योर जूल पर के जी वी कैन राइट और नॉट यस वी कैन राइट एंड दिस जूल पर के जी इफ यू राइट किलो जूल दिस इज योर वन बाई थाउजेंड किलो जूल पर के जी सो सो बेटा मीटर स्क्वायर मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर इट इज नथिंग इट इज वन बाई थाउजेंड किलो जूल पर के जी सो दिस इज योर किलो जूल पर के जी दिस इज योर किलो जूल पर के जी सो इट इज ऑल्सो किलो जूल पर के जी सो इफ यू कन्वर्ट दिस इन दिस कॉम्पोनेंट इन किलो जूल पर के जी जस्ट यू मल्टीप्लाई वन बाई थाउजेंड वन बाई थाउजेंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन राइट एच आई प्लस इज इक्वल टू एच आई इज इक्वल टू एच ई प्लस वी ई स्क्वायर बाई टू थाउजेंड वी ई स्क्वायर बाई टू थाउजेंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई एम टेलिंग यू सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ एच आई बट वी कैन नॉट हैव अ वैल्यू ऑफ एच ई सी बेटा दिस इज योर ई पॉइंट एग्जिट पॉइंट दिस योर एग्जिट पॉइंट सो वॉट इज द एच टू so if you calculate h2 if you calculate h2 so h2 how to calculate h2 beta from here how to calculate h2 h2 is equal to h f plus x2 h g minus h f so at which pressure at 10 kilo pascal at 10 किलो पास्कल सो एट द टेन किलो पास्कल एट द टेन किलो पास्कल यू हैव एच एफ यू हैव एच जी एंड यू हैव एच एफ ऑल्सो सो सी एट द टेन किलो पास्कल यू हैव एच एफ यू हैव एच जी पुट ऑल द थिंग्स यू हैव एक्स ऑल्सो सो यू कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एच टू सो द वैल्यू ऑफ एच टू इज The value of H two is beta two one nine four point nine four point zero three two three kilo joule per kg. Yes or not? Kilo joule 
पर के जी सो दिस इज योर एच टू नाउ यू हैव एच वन यू हैव एच टू सो सो यू हैव एच वन यू हैव एच टू सो यू कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट द एग्जिट वेलोसिटी सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वट इज योर एग्जिट वेलोसिटी प्लीज वट इज योर एग्जिट वेलोसिटी दिस एग्जिट वेलोसिटी इज वन टू टू थ्री पॉइंट नाइन एट थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड दिस इज योर एग्जिट वेलोसिटी ऑफ द नोजल दिस इज योर एग्जिट वेलोसिटी सो वन टू टू थ्री वन टू टू थ्री सी वन टू टू थ्री इट इज राइट सो डी इज ऑल्सो राइट so there is a dryness so there is a dry uh, there is a dryness fraction that is weight region so automatically option number third is cancelled the exit is not a dry saturated exit is not dry saturated so third option is cancelled now exit area of the nozzle how to calculate the exit area of the nozzle how to calculate the exit area of the nozzle see we know that what is that exit area you have a conservation of mass mass flow rate you have mass flow rate you have so what is the mass flow rate conservation of mass write down conservation of mass is what beta m dot and we want the exit so m dot i is equal to m dot e yes or not and this is equal to 1 it is given kg per second and what is the exit is equal to density you know density into area a2 into velocity yeah you can say that ae ve and ve you have ae you have to find it but you don't have a density so you write ae ve divided by specific volume of e so you know the things density is 1 by inversely proportional of the specific volume so what ve how to find vf plus x2 vg minus vf at which pressure at 10 kilo pascal at 10 kilo pascal now you have to calculate vf this all the value is this given vf 10 vf it is given vg it is given put all this value put all this value if you put this value this is your 12.2791 meter cube per kg yes or not 27.92 meter cube per kg now you have this one you have this one this one this one you have so what is that this one is equal to ae we have to find it into velocity we have how much 1223.8983 divided by exit velocity 12.2791 now from here we can easily find the exit velocity what is the exit velocity 100.32 meter square this is your exit velocity of the nozzle so <coughs> this is your complete information so it is very very highly a very very high chance to ask this question in msq in two mark get such type of problem okay beta why because this problem is related to some type uh, this is related to the properties of pure substance and this concept this concept all also used in when you are solving the problem of a steam turbine rankine cycle you are solving the problem of rankine cycle this same concept will apply so according to for, according to that situation also this will important now <clears throat> next problem 
वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम बेटा सी नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम यस दिस इज आवर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सी दिस दिस इज आवर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इट इज विजिबल यस और नॉट ओके तो दिस क्वेश्चन बेटा आई एम टेक इंट्यूशनली दिस इज फॉर गेट 2008 important question important question beta this is very important question why because in this question lots in the in the in this question lots of book they are doing a mistake and they always try to mistake something sometimes so what is the mistake we will verify this okay beta in a figure shown the system is a pure substance that means in the system there is a pure substance okay this is your pure substance we change the pen no problem yes pure substance this is a pure substance that means in the system this is our system and this system is this is our system and this system is a pure substance okay beta now kept in a piston cylinder arrangement so this is your piston so this is your piston beta this is your piston this is your piston okay this is your piston and this is your cylinder this red color is a cylinder now arrangement system is initially two phase very important that means at the inlet position in initial position one there is a two phase system that means partially there is a mixture of 1 kg liquid and 0.3 kg of vapor initially at the pressure which at which pressure 100 kilo pascal that means there in the system the system is in in the system there is a pure substance in that substance in that sub, in that system there must be a two phase system in the two phase system what is the constituent is given 1 kg of liquid and 0.3 kg of vapor at which pressure 100 kilo pascal this is given okay initially now initially the piston rest on the set of the stop that means this piston beta this piston will rest on this stop this is your stops this is your two stops so initially the piston will rest on this stop that means this is your stop on that stop the piston is lying like that just rest on this piston that means at the at the in, when the piston and stops are contact to each with contact to each other in that situation what is the pressure 100 kilo pascal that means when the piston and when the stops are just contact to each other that means rest on each other the system pressure is 100 kilo pascal that means at the 100 kilo pascal piston doesn't move piston doesn't move okay now the piston rest on the so as shown in figure a pressure of 200 kilo pascal now we want we increase the system pressure how much 200 kilo pascal is required to exactly balance the weight of the piston and outside atmospheric pressure this line is very important weight of the piston and outside atmospheric pressure any yani this 200 pressure if you design beta that means if this is our piston this is your piston beta so there must be a force due to atmosphere and due to weight of the piston this must be balanced this must be balanced by which this must be balanced by 200 kilo pascal that means 
that means what is the motivation 200 kilo pascal is your equilibrium pressure that means this is your equilibrium pressure and due to this pressure the piston will just move in a quasi static manner see the beauty heat is transferred takes place into the sinister until until the volume that means see that means 200 kilo pascal it is the pressure at which the piston this pressure will hold the weight and the atmospheric pressure right that means this at this condition it is not tightly contact with the stops that means that when there is a line the inside pressure is 100 now you supply heat now you supply heat the inside pressure is 150 175 at that condition piston will rest on the stop but once it will reaches at 200 it just balance it just balance both of these that means at this pressure is the equilibrium pressure through which the piston will move that means that means with a pressure 100 to 200 is what is that pressure 100 to 200 is what is that pressure 100 to 200 volume is constant and pressure will increase volume is constant and pressure will increase why because it is rest on the stops now once it reaches at 200 piston will move slowly that means uh, when the piston is move slowly at this pressure that means now 1 to 2 is a constant volume now at the point of 2 that means it's just move at this pressure and due to this pressure continuous heat will supply so to maintain this pressure piston will move up continuously so 2 to 3 there is a constant pressure process and volume will increase so what is that beta see the beauty and volume will increase and increase to 50 percent heat transfer to the system right okay first we draw this one Yes. See. See, beta. No. Black. We take black. See. This is our piston free body diagram we have to make a free body diagram so there is a pressure how much 200 kilo pascal there is a weight and there must be a atmospheric pressure p atm right now this see if you draw PV diagram. If you draw PV diagram, what is that beta? Two phase. See, two phase. So, there is a two phase. That means, let's suppose this is your two phase region. So, initially, this is your pressure. If you draw this like that, actually, this is like that. okay so this is your pressure 100 and this is your pressure 200 kilo pascal okay so beta first it is in two phase region so it is at any point here 
इट इज एट एनी पॉइंट हेयर बेटा लेट सपोज इट इज एट दिस पॉइंट दैट मीन्स इट इज एट दिस पॉइंट नो प्रॉब्लम एंड एट हंड्रेड एट हंड्रेड पिस्टन विल टाइटली पैक्ड ड्यू टू वेट एंड एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर सो वंस यू इंक्रीज द प्रेशर पिस्टन डजेंट मूव अंटिल इट इज रिचेज एट टू हंड्रेड दैट मीन्स वन टू टू वन टू टू there must be a constant volume process now once it will reaches at 200 piston will start move slowly slowly move piston will start move slowly if it move slowly and continuously you supply heat to the system continuously you supply heat to the system that means you don't want to increase the pressure inside the system so once it will supply a heat it will try to increase its pressure to the system but we want that the pressure will remain same so piston will just lift again you supply a heat piston system all again the increase the piston is pressure but you want that the pressure is remain same piston again move slowly so that it will move slowly at a constant pressure so it is at constant pressure but what is that at what at that constant pressure i don't know so this is at constant pressure let's suppose it is at any will let's suppose this is this is three so this is the process three is where i don't know why because it is not given any condition i think see See, at two hundred, what is the saturation temperature? Two hundred. That means at two hundred, at two hundred, what is the saturation temperature? Two hundred. At one hundred, what is the saturation temperature? One hundred. Okay, beta. So this is the one hundred saturation temperature. That means at this point T set is one hundred, and at this point T set is two hundred. okay now now okay so beta see at 200 at 200 what is the specific volume 0.05 0.005 and at 100 0.001 of the fluid and what is the gas 0.1 and 0.02 that means see this if we think that at 100 that means this one at this point there is a volume it is given vf vg at this point it is vf and vg it is given now if the volume volume at 3 is higher than vf that means v3 v3 will check and we calculate vg vg at pressure of 200 kilo pascal so vg at pressure of 200 kilo pascal is how much vg at 200 kilo pascal vg at 200 kilo pascal is how much 0.022 Point zero zero two, right? Yes or not? Point zero zero two. So this is your at this point point zero zero two meter cube per kg. If V three is greater than this one, so three is must be superheated. If V three less than this one, so this is must be a two phase mixer. If V three is exactly point zero two, then this is must be at a saturated vapor so first we will check so how to find v3 let let us find that v3 see <coughs> what is given here beta what is given here it is given mass of the 
water how much 1 kg and mass of the gas it is given how much 0.3 kg vapor so the total mass is 1.3 kg so we can calculate the dryness fraction x at this point x1 so what is the dryness fraction at yeah you can say that dryness fraction x is what beta mass of the gas vapor divided by the total mass the mass of the vapor is 0.3 divided by 1.3 how much it is 0 0.029 so this is 0 0.029 so once you calculate the dryness fraction that means this is at point d so we have two value what is that beta we have a dryness fraction and we have a pressure we have a pressure these two value we have now at this pressure at this pressure we have calculated the specific volume that means v1 is equal to vf plus x vg minus vf at 100 kilo yes or not at 100 kilo pascal so you have x value at 100 kilo pascal at 100 kilo pascal beta you have at 100 kilo pascal at 100 kilo pascal at 100 kilo pascal you have vf you have vg put this value and we find v1 we find v1 so put here all this value that means vf is 0 0.01 plus x 0 0.029 point 0.1 minus point 0.001 if you solve this one so the v1 come out to be 0 0.0038 meter cube per kg v1 this is important so see beta this v1 is this one and what is the v2 v2 is saying that v2 is 50 percent higher so if you find the v2 if you find v2 that means if you find v2 beta this is 1.5 of v1 and 1.5 and what is the v1 v1 you have so if you calculate this one this is your 0 0.0057 meter cube per kg and this is at which pressure 200 mega pascal this is at which pressure 200 kilo pascal sorry so see this with a v2 this v2 is greater than vg at 200 kilo pascal yes or not that means this vg this v2 is equal to v2 this one right if you find v2 okay pressure will increase so v2 so this v2 final volume v2 this final volume v2 it is greater than vg this is your vg at this pressure uh -huh, sorry this is your vg this is your vg na this is your steam is a specific volume that means v2 uh, you can say like that ki the process is what is the process that means final final this this is your final volume 
this is your final volume v3 i think this is your v3 so if you calculate v3 that v3 is greater than vg so this is your vg so this v3 is greater than vg that means in which region it is in superheated region in which region beta it is in superheated region so it is in superheated region right so it is in super heated region it is in super heated region right okay final volume it is a vinyl volume beta v3 it is not to v3 final volume it is okay the final volume in question see na in this question what is that see takes place the system until its volume increases 50 percent that means how much volume is final increases 50 percent so v2 and v2 v3 and v3 is greater than vg at 200 kilopascal so v3 is in superheated region so this is your superheated what is that a superheated vapor will left in the system this option is correct this option is correct now work done by the system in this process we have to find work done so what a work done if you see this graph this is your p and v constant volume this one this means one two three so work done during this process only two to three why because this is constant constant volume so work done it in this case that means work done w123 is equal to what beta w122 plus w223 1 to 2 is 0 why because volume is constant so work 2 to 3 work 2 to 3 is what this is your equilibrium pressure and what is the equilibrium pressure 200 kilo pascal so mass you have mass of what total mass 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 is not changing into m into p equilibrium into v3 minus v2 v3 minus v2 and v2 is what v1 v2 is what v1 so put this value mass is how much 1.3 total mass into p2 equilibrium 200 into v3 v3 is 0 0.0057 minus 0 0.0038 so if you solve this one this is your approximately 0.4 kilojoule very important and my dear 99 percent in the book the option it is given b which is wrong why it is wrong this is wrong the actual answer is 0.4 kilojoule why because beta see work done by the system these are as, they are asking work done by the system so this is work done by the system it is not asking net work done if this asking net work done if it is asking net work done beta w net so work done by the system minus work done by the atmosphere you have to reduce this so work done by the system is 0.4 and work done by the atmosphere is how much mass into p1 initial pressure p1 into v2 minus v1 v that means v3 minus v1 atmospheric work to add atmospheric work 
you have to calculate like that. So, in this case, you have to find net. So, you, you subtract the atmospheric work and atmospheric work you have to calculate now. So, this is approximately equal to 0.2 kilojoule. So, once you find the net work, W net, so this is 0.4 minus 0.2. So, this is 0.2. So, 0.2 option is when, when they are asking net work, net work. But here it is asking work done by the system, not net work by the system, net work by the system, right? This is 0.2 and this 0.4 is only work done by the system, by the system, work done by the system. So, in the 99 percent book, the wrong answer it is given, okay? Now, next, what they are as work, it is okay, volume. Now, next, he is asking net entropy generation, considering system and a thermal reservoir together during the process, during the process is closest to which one? The net entropy generation, that means entropy generation you have to find, okay? Entropy generation you have to find. So, you have to find entropy generation, very important, very important concept. You have to find entropy generation, you have to find entropy generation. So, beta, what is given? Given heat transfer, which is heat transfer, heat transfer to the system heat transfer to the system is how much? 1 kilojoule. It is given heat transfer and the system entropy entropy increase by increase by 10 kilojoule per kg. 10 joule per Kelvin. This system entropy will increase. That means, see beta, that means, see and this question is given, this is your system, this is your system, this is your system and this is your thermal reservoir which have a 400 degree centigrade heat will supply and the system boundary temperature also given 175 degree. Many students get confused that he is taking 175. If you consider system plus surrounding, always take surrounding temperature, not system boundary temperature. If you take this is as a system, very important I am telling you very, very subtle concept is there. What is that? If we consider this as a system, we take heat divided by this one. But if we take this as an isolated system, matlab, this system plus surrounding, so always take the temperature, that means for this, this, always take the temperature of surrounding. So, but uh, entropy balance, what is the entropy balance? What is the entropy balance? See the very important. What is the entropy balance? One second, beta. What is the entropy balance? S in minus S out plus S of generation is equal to delta S of the system, yes or not? And this S in or out, this S 
इन और आउट इज ड्यू टू नेट इंट्रोपी ट्रांसफर नेट इंट्रोपी ट्रांसफर नेट इंट्रोपी ट्रांसफर ड्यू टू हीट एंड मास वाले राइट एंड दिस इज योर इंट्रोपी जनरेशन एंड दिस इज योर इंट्रोपी चेंज ऑफ द सिस्टम चेंज इन इंट्रोपी सी द ब्यूटी बेटा in this case there is no any mass transfer in this case there is no any mass transfer only the heat will transfer so the entropy transfer is due to heat only this is zero so what is the entropy of the system so heat only so heat only so if we take this is our system so energy add to the system what is they asking that see very important see does move in very slowly quasi static that means the internally reversible it is the process is internally reversible but externally irreversible so the process entire process is irreversible process so th this is the internal reversible process external irreversible process external irreversible process why because system boundary have a different temperature and this uh, uh, surrounding have a different temperature there is a finite temperature difference so heat transfer with a finite temperature difference not infinite finite there must be external irreversibility so this is for external irreversibility so its entropy generation is positive always its entropy generation is always positive it is not zero right so the internal the thermal reservoir for which the heat transfer to the system has to be temperature 400 that means at which the heat will transfer thermal is 400 and every temperature of the system boundary taken maximum student here is get confused this this will taken but this is not taken into consideration this is the boundary temperature but the heat transfer is to the this is the surrounding temperature so always we take the uh, when the heat will transfer always take the surrounding temperature not a boundary temperature not a boundary temperature so the every temperature this is very dangerous things is there in the gate gate 2008 this is very danger the heat transfer to the system is 1 kilojoule during which the entropy increase 10 that means that means beta if this is our system if this is our system this is our system this is our system and heat transfer to the thermal reservoir how much 400 degree centigrade from where heat will transfer and this is your boundary temperature 175 degree centigrade this is heat so we always take if this is our system so always take the surrounding not a system boundary temperature why because we we take the system as a whole it is not taken by this system we take the system piston also so as a whole this system is taken and this system will transfer a heat to this thermal reservoir not this right so in this case we consider the system as a piston also so heat added to the system is positive q divided by t of thermal plus s of generation is equal to what beta delta s of the system 
this q it is given how much 1 thermal it is given 400 plus 273 plus s of generation and delta s of the system is what it is given 10 right this q is in what unit beta this q is in kilojoule so you convert joule so you convert it is in joule so this is a joule 1000 right so what is the generation 10 minus 10 1000 divided by 400 plus 273 400 plus 273 so this is your 8.5 joule per kilo this is your entropy generation and this generation is greater than 0 that means that means beta this is your delta s of universe is greater than 0 this is called entropy principle this is called entropy principle so this is your generation and this generation is caused due to external irreversibility why because it is internally reversible it is internally reversible so the generation is either internal reversible or a generation is caused due to internal irreversible or a total irreversible okay now <coughs> see so this is the question very important question in which we have to discuss also many things okay so this is your how what is the answer of for this one this answer is lagbhag 8.5 c option is correct c option is correct c okay now next next problem next problem beta this is the next problem see this see this this is the next problem what is that in steam power plant so this is the problem basically in basically for rankine cycle steam power plant okay so this basically for rankine cycle this is basically for a Rankine cycle so beta a steam power plant superheated steam at 10 mega pascal and 50 500 degrees centigrade that means there must be initially superheated at 500 that means after outlet from the boiler after outlet from the boiler this steam will enter to the turbine at a superheated condition expanded isentropically that means expansion is isentropically in the turbine until it becomes a saturated vapor that means it will expand and at which at which state it will expand it will expand up to a saturated vapor it is then reheated see this is the problem with the reheated again it is reheated and re reheated obviously reheating at a constant pressure process no problem reheated at a constant pressure at how much 500 that means beta that when the when the steam is entered to the turbine when the steam entered to the turbine is what temperature 500 now again we reheat to the 500 temperature 
the steam is next expanded isentropically that means steam again expanded another turbine until it reaches the condenser pressure of 20 kilo pascal condenser pressure of 20 kilo pascal relevant property of the steam are given in the following two tables what we can find out work done by both of the turbine together is how much in kilojoule per kg this is your nat type question and this is problem with reheat turbine reheating this is problem with reheating my dear why we do the reheating of the turbine anyone why we do the reheating of the turbine why we do the reheating of the turbine beta why we do reheat why we do hit do reheat option number one to increase the efficiency option number two to increase the dryness fraction option number three both option number d we cannot say please anyone reply why we done a reheating why we do a reheating option number a increase the efficiency option number b improve the quality of the steam option number c both option d we cannot say option d we cannot say please everyone please everyone how much it is please everyone how much how many see the prime motive yet yeah, the motive the motivation of the reheat of the steam is only to improve the quality of the steam it is not necessary that reheating will sure that it's improved the efficiency no it may reduce also efficiency that means efficiency we cannot say but one thing is very clear that during the reheating the quality of the steam will improve so why we want that the quality of the steam is improved why we want that the quality of the steam is improved see when that steam when the steam come out from the boiler and when enter to the turbine if steam have a combination of the steam is the combination of water particle and water vapor now if the quality is poor so in that mixture high content of the water particle and if the flow velocity of the fluid is very high so the vapor particle is lighter than the water particle so the inertia of the water particle is more as compared to the vapor particle so at the same velocity the water particle strike more energy on the turbine blade so there may be pitting in the turbine or a distortion in the turbine or failure in the turbine blade so to improve the life of the blade to improve the life of the blade we want that the expansion is of a high quality steam and high quality that means in that during the expansion less and less water particle so reheating is assure you that when you are required a reheating the quality of the steam will improve when without reheating so what is that beta <clears throat> what is that see very important see <coughs> reheat cycle what is that there is a boiler there is a boiler and from the boiler steam will expand 
a turbine known as high pressure turbine high pressure turbine and from that steam from that steam it is not like that here you can enter like that okay this and from that steam the steam at exit condition we are taking and it again deliver into the boiler to increase the heat heating effect of the steam then it will done then it will going to high pressure turbine sorry low pressure turbine over that it will go and then it is expanding in that turbine and then go to the condenser going to the condenser there is a condenser and through that condenser there is a pump is that from pump there is a enter to the turbine so this is your line diagram okay see this is your reheating that means we take the steam from the high pressure and again reheat and then we expand so that the quality of the steam will improve how see if you draw on a ts plane if you draw it is in ts plane temperature and entropy plane so this is our saturation curve right so there is a two pressure high pressure and low pressure so this is your high pressure temp pressure line and this is your low pressure line okay this is point number 1 this is point number 2 this is point number 3 this is point number 3 now from the turbine there is a point number 4 from the condenser there is point number 5 from the pump there is point number 6 so beta 2 to 3 the process 2 to 3 is reheating is reheating the process sorry the process 2 to 3 is reheating the process 2 to 3 is reheating in the boiler so see beta the turbine at the inlet to the turbine one point is superheated so the inlet of the turbine is superheated at point 1 and what is the temperature is here this temperature it is given how much how much temperature it is given 500 so this is your 500 this temperature is given now it expand it expand isentropically isentropically is it will expand and it is reaches at point 2 and the point 2 is point 2 is dry saturated vapor yes or not it is given dry saturated point 2 is dry saturated so at point 1 one second i am taking like that see this is point number 1 we take and this temperature we have 500 right and point 1 it is inlet to the turbine and it expand isentropically isentropic it will expand up to point 2 up to point 2 now 2 to 3 there again reheat again heating and heating will done again at 500 so again it is reheating so this yellow line is reheating so do this 2 to 3 again reheating now 2 to 3 there is a heat supply so there must be a heat supply 
in this one. Two to three. Now three to four. There again expansion, and this expansion in a low pressure turbine. In a low pressure turbine. So this is your. I think this is your low pressure. Oh, you can write like that also. No problem. This is expansion like that one. This is expansion like that one. So from point one to two, there is one expansion. Three to four, there is another expansion. Four to five, there is a condensation. Five to six, there is a pump. So six to one, there is a heat supply. And two to three, there is a heat supply. So the heat supply, heat in is H one minus H six plus H three minus H two. This is heat in. What they find? They are they are asking that. They are asking that the work done by the turbine. So there are two turbine is there. So beta, what is the motivation of this one? Reheating to improve. the quality the improve the quality of steam at exit from the turbine from the turbine so turbine blade life improve so turbine blade life will improve will improve turbine blade life will improve so according to this question see this one There is a TS diagram. First draw. Right, beta. Okay. So there is a one pressure line, hundred mega pascal. No, sorry, ten mega pascal. This is your ten mega pascal. Right, this is a ten mega pascal. Okay, and there is a condenser pressure. This is a twenty kilo pascal, very low pressure. Okay, now this is the one pressure line. This is another pressure line. So, see, we done a reheating. this will that means this is your point number 1 and this is point number 2 this will expand in a high pressure turbine expansion is a high pressure turbine and this temperature is 500 degree centigrade 500 degree centigrade this temperature now 2 to 3 there is a reheat Two to three, there is a reheat beta at the same temperature. Now it will expand to the condenser pressure. It will expand to the condenser pressure four. This is five. This is six. So this is your reheating. So beta, see. Three to two to three, there is a reheat process. That means two to three, there must be a heat supply. And six to one, also there must be a heat supply. There must be a heat supply. So, so what is H one? 
from the table it is given beta h1 at 10 mega pascal what is that h1 one point at 10 mega pascal this is 10 mega pascal how much it is given and what is the temperature 500 degree centigrade go to the table and see this is how much this is your 3373.6 kilojoule per kg now we have to h2 h2 is what beta is h g at which pressure this is your 1 mega pascal it is given it is given na see until it's become a saturated vapor expand isentropically in the turbine until it's become a saturated vapor it is reheated to a constant pressure to 500 the steam is next expanded into isentropically in the turbine until it is reached to the condenser pressure 20 degree so superheated table it is given 1 mega pascal it is not given it is given beta superheated and saturated see saturated 1 mega pascal 20 10 mega pascal 10 mega pascal 1 mega pascal 1 mega pascal 20 kilo pascal so 1 mega pascal is the intermediate at which the at which the reheated reheated region so 1 mega pascal is the reheat pressure 1 mega pascal is the reheat pressure why because beta reheating is done see see this it will expand to the low temperature but at what pressure this see six six to one there is a boiler pressure but the fluid which is coming from the high pressure turbine there must be a reduced pressure expansion pressure so the reheat pressure but that means two to three is the reheat pressure two to three is the reheat pressure and reheat pressure is in between the boiler pressure and condenser pressure that means 2 to 3 is the reheat pressure yeah intermediate pressure reheat pressure you can say that reheat pressure is less than the boiler pressure but higher than the condenser pressure so this pressure 2 to 3 the reheat pressure is 1 mega pascal it is given 1 mega pascal so h2 it is what 1 mega pascal 1 mega pascal right it is given at 1 mega pascal and temperature at uh, sorry dryness fraction it is 1 so at this condition what is the value of h2 h2 is 2778 from the table this is all from the table 1 kilojoule per kg no problem at all now what is h3 h3 at which pressure beta h3 h3 at 1 mega pascal 1 mega pascal but superheated we'll go to the superheated table why because beta h1 is also see h1 as a, h1 as 10 mega pascal is 3 at 1 mega pascal h1 as 10 mega pascal it is also in superheated h3 at 1 mega pascal it is also in superheated so what is the h3 3 4 7 8 point 4 kilojoule per kg so this is your h3 now we have to find h4 whether the h4 it is a dry saturated superheated or wet region we will check so beta s3 is equal to s4 yes or not s3 is equal to s4 why because this is expansion in low pressure turbine so expansion is isentropic so h3 is equal to h4 right and what is the h3 s3 is what s3 is what s3 is from the table it is 7.7621 kilojoule per kg okay beta s3 is equal to s4 this is s4 and what is sg4 at pressure 20 kilopascal go through the table 
इट इज योर सेवन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो एट फाइव सी द ब्यूटी दैट मीन्स दिस एस जी दिस एस जी इज हाइयर देन एस फोर दैट मीन्स एस फोर दैट मीन्स वॉट बेटा एस फोर दैट मीन्स यू कैन राइट एस जी इज हाइयर देन एस फोर दैट मीन्स द पॉइंट फोर इन वेट रीजन वेट रीजन पॉइंट फोर इज इन वेट रीजन तो इट इज इन वेट रीजन इट इज इन वेट रीजन बेटा सो हाउ कैन यू डिटरमाइन एच फोर वाई बिकॉज एच फोर इट इज एच फोर इज इज समथिंग हेयर सो एच फोर इज इक्वल टू एच जी प्लस ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट एक्स फोर एच जी माइनस एच एफ एट प्रेशर ट्वेंटी किलो पास कर सो फर्स्ट यू कैलकुलेट वॉट इज द ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन एट दिस पॉइंट सो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन सिंपल एस थ्री इज इक्वल टू एस फोर एस थ्री इज इक्वल टू एस फोर एंड एस फोर यू हैव दैट मीन्स एस थ्री इज इक्वल टू एस फोर एंड एस फोर इज इक्वल टू एस एफ प्लस एक्स फोर एस जी माइनस एस एफ नाउ नाउ यू हैव एस थ्री सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स टू वन एस थ्री यू हैव एस एफ एंड दिस इज विथ विच प्रेशर बेटा एस फोर इज विच प्रेशर दिस इज योर ट्वेंटी किलो पास कर so put all this value sf 0.8319 plus x sg 7.9085 minus 0.8319 so from here you can easily calculate what is the dryness fraction at point 4 0.9793 see this is very good quality of steam why because dryness fraction is very hi now once you calculate the dryness fraction you can calculate easily h4 so h4 is what beta hg plus this point 9793 hg minus h4 hg minus hf at pressure 20 kilo pascal at pressure 20 kilo pascal put all this value and calculate hg so hg is 2560.91 kilo joule per kg so this is your h4 now once you calculate h4 see the my dear once you calculate h4 once you calculate h4 so what is your turbine work turbine work this turbine work high pressure and this turbine work low pressure so what is the total turbine work is equal to h1 minus h2 plus plus beta h3 minus h4 h3 minus h4 so put all this value so the total turbine work is your h1 minus h2 plus h3 minus h4 if you put all this value this is your 1512.95 kilo joule per kg this is the net output no this is turbine output not net this is not net beta this is work output by the turbine wt total wt total now if you see beta i give you one motivation here if you find the efficiency of the plant so what is that net output Yes or not? 
नेट आउटपुट डिवाइडेड बाय हीट सप्लाई यस सर नोट बेटा व्हाट इज द नेट आउटपुट डब्ल्यू टर्माइन टोटल माइनस डब्ल्यू पी राइट इफ वी निगलेक्ट द पंप वर्क सी देर इज ए पंप बट इफ यू निगलेक्ट जनरली वी कैन नेगलेक्ट द पंप वर्क निगलेक्ट नो प्रॉब्लम वाई बिकॉज दिस पंप वर्क इज वेरी स्मॉल सो नेगलेक्ट सो नेट वर्क इज वॉट टर्माइन नाउ वॉट इज द हीट सप्लाई हीट सप्लाई इज वन इज द रीहीट एंड अदर इज द बॉयलर सो हीट सप्लाई इज एच थ्री माइनस एच टू प्लस एच वन माइनस एच सिक्स यस और नोट सो दिस इज योर एच वन सी आई गिव यू कॉन्सेप्ट हीट सप्लाई इज वॉट एच वन माइनस एच सिक्स दिस इज इन द बॉयलर टू द बॉयलर प्लस फॉर द रीहीट एच थ्री माइनस एच टू यस और नॉट बेटा नाउ देर इज वन प्रॉब्लम इज दैट एच थ्री यू हैव एच टू यू हैव एच वन यू हैव बट एच सिक्स यू डोंट हैव एंड वॉट इज द एक्सिस सी एच सिक्स इज द एग्जिट फ्रॉम द पंप और इनलेट टू द टर्माइन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट एच सिक्स How to calculate H six? How to calculate H six? Bita, see to calculate H six, we have do a pump work. What is the pump work? Is H six minus H five? Yes or not? H six minus H five. And what is the H five? It is H F. Yes or not? H F at the condenser pressure how much 20 kilo pascal so you have this one value from the table so you have this one value what is the pump work integration input negative v into v into change in pressure dp input so it is positive now v is liquid compress it is constant so come outside so this is a v 5 to 6 v this is your v as what inlet to the pump that means this is your v at f at which pressure 20 kilo pascal so you have this one from the table into the pressure is boiler pressure minus Condenser pressure. So from this one, you have to this, you have to this. So according to accordingly, we have to calculate H six. We can easily calculate H six. Once you calculate H six, beta, you can easily find the heat supply. Now you have to find the heat supply. What is the efficiency? W net. It is nothing. Turbine work by heat supply. so you can easily find the heat supply so you can expect this question in this year you can expect question like that in this year to find efficiency to find efficiency of the turbine efficiency so only additional work if you find the efficiency of the turbine is heat supply and if we heat supply to find the heat supply there is additional table of specific volume there is additional table of specific volume okay so this is the question related to the reheat this is question related to the reheat very important and it is your steam turbine rankine cycle it is your rankine cycle now next problem you have to go next problem see the beauty 
this is the next question this is question is little bit lengthy see why we chosen this question why because this question is included all the things intercooling reheating and regenerating of a gas turbine see a gas turbine power plant operating between the pressure limit pressure limit operating between the pressure limit 1 bar and 8 bar and 8 bar so the turbine works between these two pressure limit with minimum and maximum cycle temperature it is given it is limited minimum is 25 maximum is 1000 respectively the two stage compressor that means number of compressor is two has a first perfect intercooler perfect intercooler that means the function of intercooler perfect intercooler is that the exit temperature of the intercooler is same as the inlet temperature of the first compressor this is called perfect intercooler that means see beta if there is a intercooler and in the intercooler if we do a compression if we do a compression beta if we do a compression so during the compression let's suppose this is your temp one point this is your two point and this is your three point so if this is your perfect intercooler na if this is your perfect intercooler so if there is a perfect intercooler perfect inter cooler perfect intercooler for the perfect intercooler what is that beta jo temperature at the exit of the intercooler is same as the temperature at the inlet to the compressor this is very important this is the case for the perfect intercooler that means the perfect intercooler has a has a capacity to the temperature at the inlet to the compressor is same as the exit from the intercooler so and ideal intermediate pressure ideal intermediate this is the, done by ideal intermediate pressure gas reheat now again now it is reheated that means now it supply to reheat and reheat is a type of heat exchanger counter flow heat exchanger counter flow heat exchanger okay reheated after expansion of the high pressure turbine that means after expansion of the high pressure turbine the fluid is reheated and expanded in a low pressure turbine such that output power from each turbine is same that means what is the output power from each turbine that means power of turbine 1 is equal to power of turbine 2 and the isentropic efficiency of the compressor and turbine is also given 83% so there must be a two process actual and real process actual and ideal process assuming ideal regeneration calculation ideal regeneration so this is intercooler there is a intercooler perfect intercooler gas is reheated so there is a see very important so this is a intercooler right now reheat now regeneration see the beauty all of these are in the same shot of the problem okay now we will do so first if you read that <coughs> one second beta
One second. Seven. Eight. Okay. See, first see that what is the concept of regenerator, regeneration. What is the concept of regeneration? See, then we discuss something little more. more. See, beta, regeneration. See, this one one compressor, see that there is one motivation is that, there is one compressor is that, there is one compressor, let us suppose, not in tight air. See, there is a compressor, okay, there is a, this is your regeneration. what is the regeneration okay so there is a compressor compressor takes a fresh air no problem now it will compressed it will compressed it will compressed let's suppose 0.2 now the compressed fluid is inter is the compressed fluid now inter into a regenerator. This is very important. Regenerator, it is a kind of heat exchanger. So, it is a heat exchanger, heat exchanger, right. So, it will inter to heat exchanger in this direction now and what is that i will discuss you then it will enter into the combustion chamber cc into the combustion chamber then after the combustion chamber it will enter into a turbine known as turbine it will enter into turbine so it will enter into it will enter into turbine it will enter to the turbine it will enter to the turbine, enter to the turbine, okay. And then after this is your expansion of the turbine, and again it will go into the heat exchanger and then exit. So, what is that? There is a cross counter clock. Uh, 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 counter flow heat exchanger. See, this temperature is higher as compared to this temperature. So, it will heat up. So, due to this heat, heating effect, the heat supply, heat input will reduce. So, we can reduce the fuel consumption and also the quality of the fuel. Also, the quality of the fuel okay so 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 and 5 to 6 so If you isolate that means, see what is the efficiency of the plant, very important. The efficiency of the plant is what beta? This is your turbine. 
डब्लू टी माइनस डब्लू सी डिवाइडेड बाई हीट इन सो इफ वी वॉन्ट इंक्रीज द इफिशियंसी ऑफ द प्लांट आइदर वी इंक्रीज द टर्माइन वर्क आइदर वी डिक्रीज द कंप्रेसर वर्क और आइदर वी डिक्रीज द हीट सप्लाई सो इफ वी डिक्रीज द हीट सप्लाई टू द प्लांट दैट इज कॉल्ड रीजनरेशन that is called regeneration and if we increase the turbine work and reduce the compressor work if you do this increase the turbine work and reduce the compressor work this is done by reheat this is done by reheat and intercooling reheat and inter cooling reheat and intercooling so beta there are the different different method to improve the efficiency of the plant so if we reduce the supply of the heat we must be regeneration and if we improve if we improve the efficiency with respect to reheat or intercooling reheat and intercooling so we increase the turbine work or decrease the compressor work or both right okay no problem at all now <coughs> see beta if you isolate this heat exchanger and analyze something so this is our heat exchanger see the beauty this is our heat exchanger yes or not in which this is one fluid which is inter and this is the other fluid which is exit let's suppose all right during that there must be a heat will transfer so this that means this is hot fluid and this is your cold fluid and the cold fluid is only air that means 2 to 3 this is your 2 this is 2 and this is 3 and 5 to 6 there is a 5 and this is 6 so at the 5 is what beta air plus fuel yes or not that means mass of air plus mass of gas yes or not at 5 but at 2 only mass of air yes or not only mass of air so so we can say that and beta this temperature is higher than this temperature that means t5 temperature hot fluid this is hot inlet what is t2 t2 is t of cold fluid inlet what is t3 cold fluid outlet what is t5 hot fluid inlet hot fluid inlet what is t6 hot fluid exit yes or not yes or not beta so t5 is always higher than t2 no problem at all and if you find the effect effectiveness of the heat exchanger this is what c c into this will increase that means t c o minus t c i 
डिवाइडेड बाई टी सी मिनिमम डिवाइडेड बाई मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस दिस दिस इज द मैक्सिमम एंड दिस इज द मिनिमम सो मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस इज टी एच आई माइनस टी सी आई दिस इज इक्वल टू सी एच टी एच आई माइनस टी एच टी एच आई माइनस टी एच आई माइनस टी एच ई दिस डिवाइडेड बाई सी मिनिमम इंटू टी एच आई माइनस टी सी आई यस और नॉट बेटा यस और नॉट ओके सो वी हैव टू डिसाइड द इफेक्टिवनेस फॉर विच वन इज द मिनिमम सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट द सी वैल्यू सी सी इज एम डॉट सी सी पी सी सी एच इज एम डॉट एच सी पी एच if c if there is a same heat capacity will take no problem so it is obvious that beta it is obvious that the mass of the hot fluid is higher than the mass of cold fluid so c c is c minimum yes or not c c is c minimum so this is minimum and this is maximum why because ch is included mh and mh is what mass of air plus mass of gas yes or not but what is mc mc only mass of air so obviously this is minimum so this will take a minimum so this two are cancel each other so what is that tco minus tci is equal to thi minus tci yes or not this is the effectiveness so we can write that ki sir effectiveness is nothing from here the effectiveness of heat exchanger is tco minus TCI divided by THI minus TCI, right? And TCO is what? TCO is what? TCO is three. This is TCO. TCO is T three. So this is what T three. TCO is T three minus TCI is what? TCI is T two minus T two. THI is what? THI is what? T five is T five minus T two. So this is the effectiveness of that. That. He, he, this one that heat exchanger regeneration so if you draw this diagram beta like that if you draw this one t this is t this is s see very important there are two diagram okay now If you think that beta, this is one to two, one to two, yes or not? One to two, yes. Now, now this is one to two. Now, if we regenerate, if we regenerating, if we regenerating, so the two temperature at inlet to the compressor will increase. that means see beta if it will take a heat if it will take a heat that means two temperature that means two will increase up to three and when it is enter then in the combustion chamber it is not entry directly two it is entering three and three have a high energy 
then the heat supply will reduce so the 2 to 3 have a constant pressure why because heat exchanger heat exchanger work at a constant pressure so 2 to 3 at a constant pressure but 3 temperature t3 is higher than t2 so t3 is higher at the same pressure so the heat input will reduce that means this two temperature is higher this two temperature is higher and now it is enter at three so this will this heat will save this much amount of heat you will save now from this three it will enter at the same pressure that means three to four at the same pressure heat will add at a constant pressure at a four but at a four again the temperature will increase at three but this is also the same pressure that means it will increase it will increase at point three uh, the, sorry four and now now it will expand very important now it will expand up to 5 and and beta 5 have if this is your 5 so 5 is hot fluid inlet hot fluid inlet so this is your 5 this is your 5 and if beta t that means t3 see the beauty if t3 if t3 sorry t3 yes yeah, t3 is equal to t6 t3 is equal to t6 t3 is equal to t5 five you can say that 5 5 t5 t3 is equal to t5 t3 is, is equal to t5 and now heat will add at 3 so this t3 is equal to t5 and t2 is there no meaning now heat will it will add heat from this one heat addition is only this one so there is a no 2 so 2 is 0 and t3 so the effectiveness is 1 if that means if for the regenerator for the perfect regenerator a good quality of regenerator the three temperature is equal to one temperature that means if you draw this line so this is your five and there is a six this is your expense that means this is your effectiveness is equal to one that means 1 to 2 isentropic compression, 2 to 3 is a regeneration and 3 to 4 is the heat addition, 4 to 5 again expansion in the turbine and again there is a 5 to 1. So, the effectiveness is 1. So, in this case we saw, see compression work turbine work and compression work are do, both are same constant that means compressor work and turbine work are constant but heat in will reduce so increase the plant efficiency increase the plant efficiency so you have to draw this line what is that so this is your question that this is your heater so this is your question so how to draw this line perfect there is a two bar we can calculate the intermediate pressure p intermediate is what beta intermediate square root of one into eight so this is your intermediate pressure so first you draw this is very important first you draw what is that Two stage compressor that means there is a compressor C1, 
this is your compressor C1. Now, see, it will compress, it will take air it will compressed and it will again enter into intercooler this is your intercooler beta i c so i c is intercooler right now it will expand now it will expand sorry it will ex exit to the another compressor c2 and it will enter to the compressor and again it will compressed then it is go to the heat exchanger go to the heat exchanger this is your heat exchanger and if there is a heat ex after the heat exchanger there must be a combustion chamber cc from that combustion chamber it will enter into the turbine it will enter into the turbine and this turbine is high pressure turbine enter to the turbine then it will enter expand into this is very important it will enter into reheater uh, sorry it will enter into reheat this is regenerator this is your regenerator this is your regenerator this is your regeneration this is your intercooling and this is your reheat r h again reheat r h is reheat this is your reheat again it is it is reheat again it is go to the another turbine high pressure turbine uh, low pressure turbine sorry this is for low pressure turbine now it will expand and go to the heat exchanger then it will exit exhaust right so exhaust gas so this is your complete diagram intercooler with regeneration then reheat first intercooler then regeneration then reheat so first intercooler is in between two compressor in in between compressor in between the compressor regeneration regeneration is in between compressor and turbine that means compressor and turbine regeneration reheat in between turbine this you have to clear that means reheat in between the turbine intercooling in between the compressor regeneration in between so if you compressed 
फर्स्ट यूज इंटरकूलिंग देन इट इज रिजनरेशन आफ्टर एग्जिट फ्रॉम द कंप्रेसर देन इन द कंबसन चेम्बर वेयर इट इज हिट इन वेयर हिट इज हिट इन एंड देन इट इज रिजनरेशन सो दिस इज योर हॉट फ्लूड Hot fluid and this is a cold fluid in general. And there must be a heat addition in this one. There must be a heat addition in this one. Okay. So in that in that condition, we can use all the reheat. So we can draw also the PV and TS diagram, and you can. solve this problem you can solve this problem so in this one <coughs> if you draw the diagram if you draw the diagram beta ts diagram this is temperature versus entropy diagram so there must be a pressure line right there are pressure line this is your pressure this is your intermediate pressure and this intermediate pressure is equal to P one into P two geometric mean. So this is a P one. This is a P two. Now, see, beta, very carefully. See this one. This is point number one. Right. There is a compression fast compressor is done this is your isentropic compressor let's suppose 2 dash but there is a uh, there is a isentropic but there is a isentropic efficiency is given so let's suppose this is your 2 let's suppose this is your 2 okay beta now now beta this is small figure one second beta i will draw <coughs> one second okay see <coughs> if you draw a little bit a smaller size see this one now it is okay if you draw this is your ts diagram t and s okay this is a t and s okay no problem it is visible now there is a pressure line one pressure line another pressure line another pressure line okay this is your p1 p2 p intermediate is equal to square root of p1 p2 now now there is this is point number 1 1 to 2 dash this is your actual process 2 now 2 to 
perfect intercooler so it is 0.1 this is intercooling so the temperature will reduce so 2 to 3 and 3 equal to 4 t3 is equal to t1 why perfect intercooling perfect intercooling okay beta now from 2 now from 3 to 4 again there is a compression again there is a compression this is isentropic now there is a isentropic there is a actual compression this and this two temperature are also same and this two temperature that means this is 4 that means t4 is equal to t2 why perfect intercooler see t4 is equal to t2 t4 sorry we can draw like that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right so see t2 is equal to t4 why see t2 t2 is equal to t4 t2 is equal to t4 why why because this is our perfect intercooler that means the exit of the compressor is must be inlet to the intercooler perfect intercooler again exit of the compressor exit of the compressor must be inlet to the intercooler that means t1 is equal to t2 see t1 is equal to t3 see t1 is equal to t1 is equal to t3 that means exit from the cooler is the same as the inlet to the from the cooler and exit from the condenser is the same as the this that means this is the for the intercooler right now again we compress it up to 6 this is point number 6 now it will expand isentropically there is irreversible 7 now again there is a heating heating then again there is a isentropic compression and there is a so this is 7 8 9 right this is 9 dash this is 9 so this is like that and if there is a regeneration so this point is shifted at this one and this point is shifted at this one and these two lines are same. Why? Because effectiveness is 1. Heat exchanger. Now you can calculate all the given data. Now you calculate all the given data. You calculate all the given data is what the point 2, what the point 4, how to calculate. There is must be, there must be a calculation is like that intermediate pressure. What is the intermediate pressure? Firstly, you can calculate. 1 cross 8 how much beta it is 2.824 bar that's it now for the compression compression this compression is isentropic you apply the formula you apply the formula what is that Thank you, Sita. Thank you, Ita. So, <coughs> thank you, thank you. So, this is for intercool. This is isentropic. Any one, two, two dash is the isentropic compression. So we can apply T two dash by T one is equal to P two dash P two. That means P intermediate by P1 power gamma minus 1 upon gamma 
and now you can calculate T2. What is the T2 temperature? Inlet, it is the minimum temperature is given. So, T2 temperature you have. Once you find T2 temperature, T2 t temperature, once you find the T2 dash temperature, one second. Once you find the T2 temperature, so apply the isentropic efficiency of the compressor is what beta minimum that means T2 dash minus T1 divided by T2 minus T1. Now this you have what is that 0.83 I think. So you have T2 dash. So from T2 dash you can easily find T2 easily find T2. Why? Because T1 you have. T1 is the minimum temperature. Yes or not? It, it is given. Minimum temperature it is given. Okay. So, now that now for again you apply this compressor. That means T4 dash minus T3 is equal to P4 by P3 <coughs> gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Uh, from here you can find T4 temperature. And for again isentropic compression, you can find T4. You can find T4. Like that, you can find all the temperature from this one. All the temperature from this one. And again, you again now you apply the effectiveness formula. And you can find the temp what is the location of this one and what is the location of this one? 10. This is your 5 and this is your 10. So, likewise, you can calculate for this one okay so till now we discuss uh, the most generalized thing with respect to thermodynamics chapter and with respect to also the advanced that means application part so beta one thing is very clear you just go through the properties of pure substance chapter and you calculate all the property with respect to internal energy enthalpy and entropy and you can apply for that so this is for a single fluid there is no any phase changing substance so there is no any dome structure but uh, previously rankine cycle so you hope to that such type of question is present in the exam in the question it will available in the question paper i expected that and you can perform very well. Okay, Chaliye. Thank you. Bye bye.